Okay, we're coming upon the Rosemary in Time. Uh, that's not a conceivable entrance, I suppose. Uh, over here. Maybe. Ow. I'll never come back, you stinking scadges! Zoltan? All we wanted was... <gasps> Zoltan! Also a character from the previous game. Oh no. It's Zoltan! Rip your fucking legs off! And shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> Another old friend. Come for Dandelion, stay for Zoltan. What do you know? Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. <laughs> Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. <laughs> Care to join me? Anytime, spring cleaning. All right, let's beat him up. Die, go away, die. You don't actually have to die. Just, just get out of my friend's house. He is an honest dwarf. Yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. Come on, come closer. He's getting my arse handed to me right now. Can't do that. Up. Oh. Got one, one more to go. Heavy hit, oh. There we go, knocked him off. Oh, got you, there we go. Woo! Vagrants. He's gonna beam with the torch. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. More than that, I'm looking for Siri. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? Six or seven, what something like that. What's she doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem, then. What happened to Dandelion? Where is he? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. You're expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale? Or what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. So I'm kind of confused here. Dandelion was already here. Zoltan was either looking for him or he had him in his residence. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its neck. Oh my goodness. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yelling <laughs> calls. <laughs> oh, this is not funny. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Red Barrel. I think From this is loot standards. over there. Every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. Dandelion the Bard, and there's his loot, I think. Like, loot, as in L-U-T-E, not <laughs> loot, as in O-O-T. the loot he got from the elves of Dol Bothana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. He had a run-in... Okay, so... Dandelion had a run-in with Siri. The question is, though, is like, why, where did he go, you know? Siri hmm. did something that must have caused him to run. Ten of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. How so? It's his planner. That's rich. <laughs> what a good response. Starting to look like a man serious about his business. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. 
Not seen him this obsessed ever. That's actually a shock. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. That could help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. There's a lot of them. Hmm. pretty loose-lipped. <laughs> Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. While the hmm. <laughs> somehow. Perhaps. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... It's not Wonderful. literal. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. Yeah, yeah. Anything, I'll be next door. <sighs> okay, Deadline's Planner. Nice to run to Zoltan again. He's a great character. Draw him in the oven. That's that's from the previous quest we did. Deadline's Planner. Rosa Var Atre, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humorous blue. She shunned her lessons in civility. To swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden clothes villa via in Gildorf. Molly. Though well she knows a touch of silk and lace, she shuns she shuns not straw when gripped grippled gripped in lust's embrace. That's nice. Vesp Vespula. Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, Ever had a big dipper? The Marabella, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. And Ihole, Isle, Isle, I wonder if that's Isle Heart, I don't know. A figure most rare, her nature, nature duel. Look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. So, look at the locations here. We got. A charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Gildorf, villa next to the morgue. Marabella, the bits, which is also where Triss can be found, near Popper Square, and the tailor shop across the tannery. Oh boy, we gotta talk to all those ladies. Okay, let's talk to Zoltan first. Luisa Lavalette? Wait, is she... Hold on, I wanna see this. I think... She was in Witcher 2? I just want to clarify here. Bedlam. We got a lot of character updates here. Figure that. I've met some characters from Witcher 2 already. Letho? Yeah. Luisa Lavalette. Baroness uh, was talk of Temerian's her time. The nobleman had been King Fultest's mistress. And even bore two illegitimate children. Okay. I don't know why she popped up in my journal entries. Because we haven't even met her yet. Zoltan? Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Or some people, rather. Molly? Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. Alright, that makes sense. Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. <laughs> Who made that painting? He's, he's, okay, Dandelion's a poet. Like, he's standing on top of a mountain of bodies. <laughs> I don't get it. Marabella. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Nope. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. 
referring to herself as Anastasia. That's huh, truly perverse. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's a fool to get as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Vespo Vespula. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. <laughs> Rosa Varatre. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility. To swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosavar Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. That's interesting. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. <laughs> week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. All right, I'll then. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. <laughs> okay. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. All right. Zoltan's an ass man. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I wanted to know. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of options here. We have a lot of women we can go to. I guess I'm so lazy, I might as well just go in order of how close they are. So let's just do that. The closest would probably be Vespula. Okay. I got no problem with that. It's just... Oh my goodness. How long is this entire thing going to take us? Like, seriously. We're looking for Dandelion on the basis of looking for the his, his to-do list of women. Women. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. Please. Wait, no, this is Isle, I think. Wilson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. I'm sorry, I can't take you seriously. Whoa, dude. Whoa, what was that? What you are in for, stupid wink? What are you aiming for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. I'd really appreciate if you get out of here. Go. Now. Now listen. You might have two swords, but there's four. Oh, that ones. means nothing. Yeah. Four men collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. That's it. This just got bloody. Nope. Here, let me stab this guy. Oh my goodness. You were just you were just going nuts with that pike. All dead. Alright. This might just be Vespula. Blood, all of it. So much work for naught. What? No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but for everything I had, I just lost. It'll come off. Hmm. It'll come off. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just got to soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself, or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun, and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. 
professors need clean undergarments too. True. Need to ask you about Dandelion. I don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is. Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Okay, this is a dead lead then. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Mm. Who was he with in Harborside? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. <laughs> Horvier, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Mm. Thanks, good luck. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. <laughs> he's a two-faced snake. I swear, nobody likes Dandelion. The guy is the ultimate ladies' man, though he never gets far at all. Alright, so our next lead here is Isle. I thought it was Isle we were talking to at first simply because on the map it just said Isle, so... How should I know? Uh, okay. She's a tailor, maybe. Or just another washerwoman. Welcome, welcome. Do I'm a friend of Dandelion's. Looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. Elial. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Kind of confused. Um. Uh. Any better? <laughs> so you are a crossdresser. Elihow. He's a crossdresser. Did you and Dandelion? I mean, how did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. <laughs> he was blind drunk. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. I don't want to know the rest. <laughs> don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest uh... me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Men don't interest him. When did you last see Dandelion? Dandelion visit your shop. This often. is so I tried weird. tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. I can't stand to this guy. Why do you dress that way? I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. Uh, it doesn't I work that way. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Dockside Thug the next. That is true freedom. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Okay. What did you and Dandelion talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed... He did keep asking about Kalkstein. Kalkstein? If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In hmm. fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. 
I know Calcine. Calcine. Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. Yeah, I would. I, I wouldn't either. Too late, I fear. The witch hunters. Oh, you're kidding me! Burned him at the stake in High Rock Square. Ah, oh, but poor as Calcine. he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love this game. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Man, all right. Once again, another character from previous games none of you are going to know about. Calcine was actually... You do a contract for him in the first game, and it has a big tie into the story, and he's a really weird mage. He's like, I need more Robito. He's one of the main characters of the first game, basically, and they said nothing of him in Witcher 2. And Actually, I'm really lazy. I'm actually I'm really excited, so let me check really quick. Rosa Var Atre. Var Atre Guard. Uh, she seems like a prestigious young woman. I'm the new swordplay instructor. I'm the new cook. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna get by. I'm the new swordplay instructor. Uh, I'm looking for Rosa Varatre. Let's just go with that. Wanna see Rosa Varatre? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Ah, I have to find another way to get in. I have a feeling this is probably one of our more promising leads. Maybe that's just me, though. Probably just me. I don't know. I'm getting excited. What's this on the wall? Oh, look at that. Oh, graffiti. Medieval graffiti. Oh, okay. We'll find a way to get in. I now it's stopped easily. Do it, girl. You can jump. Make the jump. Hmm. Not, not through there, at least. Maybe along the back road here. This is a big detour, I should add. Do I think it's gonna work? You fancy men it does. Like me. Whole town's going on about it. So no. Playing hard to get. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant, or I'll summon the guards. Ah, uh, sorry to sneak in, Miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia. The famed Witcher of the Ballads. Dandelion what Ballads. What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. Hmm. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain. Do you truly believe Rosa Bar Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him. Well, I'm glad we didn't go with room. I'm the swords now. play instructor then, because that guy would have got even so more nice. ticked off. I mean, he's playing enough to see he doesn't like us now, but whatever. Freak. <laughs> Just waiting for him to do that. Freak. Broken flowers. Hope you realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Hmm. Another drifter in. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn the ambassador's ire. So I let her win then? Here, I gotta equip it first, dude. Calm down. Wood sword. Wood sword. Oh, I crafted that, didn't I? Is it at the very bottom? No, it'd probably be in mission items, wouldn't it? Yeah. Alright, I think we're good then. 
Alright, fine then. But in front of me, you... You... Jerk captain of the guard. Okay. You're my new instructor. Well, she's a Nilfgaard fan. Well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your work. Hmm... This is kind of shifty. That shirt really does not go well with your pants and everything else. Yeah, that just looks weird. It just looks tight. <laughs> Form-fitting. Okay. Have at me, lady. Nope. Oh, got her there. Oh yeah, you want to try me? I'm ready. Come on, come at me. Just right behind you. She wasn't ready for that. Nope. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't know why I'm seeing the Indiana Jones theme, because why not, you know? Mm hmm. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm beating you up. Why bother up. With two swords when you can barely You prepare to one. eat your words, ma'am. I am. I am besting you. The best of the best, you know, the best swordsman. I've lost not a bit of health. In fact, let me pull out my magic lamp. Oh, I can't even do that. Oh, she didn't like that. There we go. Good fight. GG. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I can't imagine Dandelion got with along with her well. I'm a witcher. I'm looking for... A witcher? That's splendid. Ah. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Can I... I'm looking for Dandelion. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Alright. If you tell me where Dandelion is, sure, I'll keep giving you this rematch. This is really pointless. Come on. Ow. Now she's starting to best me a little bit. Ow. Alright. Maybe if I wore no pants, that'd probably be a fair competition. Alright, she's getting a little bit better at dodging me. One more hit, a few more hits. I don't want to kill you. I mean... If you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Uh, gladly. <laughs> Why not? I refuse a request from a lady. I mean, I have more important things to do what right are now, you but. Two lovebirds whispering about. You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Varatra. The greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Dandelion mixed you two up? Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. 
You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Whoa. Whoa. Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. I agree, Listen, actually. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. Ah. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Hmm. Dandelion, whose talents did he praise? Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Oh my goodness. I do not give half of an F. I should go. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. I'm sure I will, yeah. but... Can I expect any more lessons in future? Yeah, sure, why not? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Please don't fight over me. I don't like being in a love triangle. That's just, that's just awkward. You know, this isn't a CW drama. This isn't Vampire Diaries. This is this is The Witcher. You know, I I like being the badass I am. Okay, fencing lessons. We'll do that on the off time. <laughs>